gonna go find out. <laughs> we're, on, yeah. we're on there now. <laughs> Hello, friends. Oh no, we got the doubled up redeem. <laughs> At least you theoretically don't hear it. Cause we, oh, it's echoing. <laughs> it's timed up just wrong to where it's echoing. Okay, okay, there it goes. Oh my word. <laughs> that was so funny. It's I can't chaos. believe that timing was that perfect. Good job, Sleuthy. Yeah, it was perfectly echoing. That was wild. Did you hear any of that? No. Did you, you couldn't hear any of that? Okay. No. Um, yeah, <laughs> so... I can hear you That's okay. <laughs> so, we, we have a new... Hey, Casey. Hey, Sleuthy. My bestie is on. We hey, have, Amy. We, okay, so we have new... A new software Maggie. for the audio. Maggie Mason. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I know. I see Maggie. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we I guess I should greet everyone first. Week, Hello, Sleuthy, Maggie, Amy, Casey, of course, Papa, Papa Beat. Beat. Um, I think that might be everybody we got so far. He's um, lurking leathering. Yes, he is lurking. <laughs> we'll see if he pops his head out some more this week. Oh, but no. uh, yeah, so we have new software, and this time it's nice because we can adjust her audio. But you don't have the redeemable sounds, so... Yeah, you guys can't scare me this so, week. Like yeah, no jump week. scares <laughs> this week, but... Uh, yeah, I was scared, like, constantly But you week. do get to see what... You can still see what's happening, because you can still see them pop up. So you know what's getting redeemed, you just can't get jump scared. So... You did. Yeah, we tried to fix it, but there just wasn't time to finish troubleshooting it. Yeah, I don't think she's very upset about it. <laughs> we'll just continue the trend where I get blasted with them. <laughs> Um, but hopefully, other than that, audio stuff is good for you guys, so you'll have to let us know. Um, hopefully it's good. I think hopefully it might be a little bit louder this week, so hopefully everything's gonna sound better. We're gonna see. We're, We're gonna, gonna see. see. Mama, oh, the other change is that Mama Beat can actually hear me this week I because <laughs> we are routing the microphone input through her headphones so she can hear me. Um, so... I can mostly hear you. Sometimes if it gets really loud, I need to take off my thing to hear you. But you should be able to hear me all the time. So I think we're good. I think we're good. But uh, well, live she, nice yeah, she does also hear herself. Live and I spent the weekend together, so she's probably yeah. had enough of me by now. She's no. never gonna throw me back in the pond. No. <laughs> back in the pond. <laughs> you know, like a fish you don't want to keep. Just toss me back my in. My first there. thought was like back across the pond as though you're like from London <laughs> and I'm like I guess we have some ancestry over there but it goes back yeah. quite a ways it's not yeah. recent yes. but uh, well, uh hello does. Samuel glad to see you yeah it's been a hot minute looks like your channel's been doing good congratulations I uh, hope you've had a good weekend um and yes we have mama beat I don't know if you're here last week but we have mama beat with us this week um hey Samuel so good to see you so yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started because we are behind the schedule with this no, game. Sure with this game we're not, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can't imagine us being behind schedule here, but uh, yeah, so that's, that's the thing. I'm gonna just mute that until we're ready to come back to it so it doesn't accidentally start blasting at max volume. So, okay. Is everybody ready to go? So I, I tried to, like, I increased the volume a little bit this time because um, it was a little bit quiet before, I think. So let me know how it sounds, if it's too quiet, too loud, any of that good stuff. So uh, we're going we're gonna to go. Well, that's trippy. We, we left off at the exact same position <laughs> as what we were just testing a second ago. That's weird. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to, fit, we have to fix the plotter. That's where we, oop, that's where we left off. You can hear us fine, but you're just in the other room. Yeah, I think we need to hear from people who are not right there. Okay. I don't really remember how you do this, but I want to say you have to go through the phases of this. I don't entirely remember. But we're just going to try it and see what happens. What's this? That's the plotter. It's broken. That's good. All right, Amy. Jobs. How was your weekend? I don't remember if it's... Is that is the sound effect too loud? I did hear that. No, it's oh, you can hear that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Hello, Kalina. Glad to see you. Kalina, how are you doing? Yeah, the oh, okay, well, I just clicked something and it magically fixed. Hey, Kalina wants to party. You want to put your music back on? <laughs> we will not get anything done if we just take music breaks every like three minutes. Sorry. Oh, oh, we got it. Wait, oh, oh. Ah! What happened? I accidentally clicked that again. Uh, we have to grab Bonjour, the phone really fast or we get fired. <laughs> Thank you, bestie. I know it was. Can you, you can hear it? Yes, I can hear it. Wait, you can hear that? I did hear it. What? You weren't hearing them before. I know, I got magically fixed. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was when you were randomly hitting stuff with your phone. <laughs> I don't know, it's oh a my gosh! Never underestimate the power of just randomly smashing buttons. <laughs> Why did I not get a notification for this? Oh no! How dare you two, the audacity! Are you on Twitch right now? No, right now I'm just on YouTube. Yeah, did you just leave her for at least six weeks? Yeah. I'm no, sorry, no. but I heard. Well, I didn't. I didn't intentionally leave anyway. anybody out. Well, I hope not, because she's not. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Wait, Casey, are you painting something during the stream? Like a mural? Paint you you your wall? Do we need like to your go nails? What you no, she does a lot of uh, little paintings, like Nancy Drew themed paintings. She's also cool. painted. It's really cool. Actually, I'll just show it. I'll just show it right now. Um, Alright. I mean, what's your I medium? What medium what did do you I just use? Do? Oh, I just accidentally went way far back on the. Oh, yeah, yeah. Selena's, uh, you know, sleep deprived. I need to give her some. Okay, trying to find a picture. So she painted those pump the pumpkins. Oh. Or, oh, in my, my, uh, I don't that know where really it is. Cool. My logo is on there. Over here somewhere, I think. Is that a real pumpkin? I think it's a real pumpkin. Casey, well, was the Clue Crew pumpkin a real one? Um, on yeah, there. there's my beat right there. There she is. Cool. Um, she did this pumpkin. That one's like carved and painted. Oh my. Um, I just, I guess I should just show them on stream too. Absolutely. So there's the pumpkin Casey painted, the Clue Crew stuff, and then there's the Gorf pumpkin. <laughs> Incredible. Um, I was looking for, oh, uh, this one was really cool tote bag look at that oh, that's isn't beautiful. that so good so casey if somebody sits at still at your house bag. do they get painted well, look at this <laughs> that's really wonderful i'm trying to see if you posted the the jacket did you post the jacket on here because that one was really cool you know you Liv used to paint you know she was an old and i taught myself how to paint like bob ross Okay, I'm not finding yeah. a picture of the jacket. Yeah, except one of her paintings actually hangs all in the library. But she's good at it. Totally not proud of 4,000 pop pennies. <laughs> hey, somebody give the hey, man you some You probably more earned all of those, so that is an accomplishment. Um, I'm not finding it. Um, uh, Samuel, I don't... Casey, can Papa, you send me a picture of the jacket? I didn't see it on there. Hey, somebody needs to tell, show it off. tell your dad how to give Samuel some more, you know, um, pennies. I, we always forget I don't know if Sleuthy's that. still... Sleuthy, are you still on here? Because Papa Beat can only give from what he has. Quite. As a Why do you wear that mask? Gee. This mask is... Okay, a well, you... It's, it's my way of telling exclamation point that it give pays far too much attention to the then <laughs> I design clothes for the yeah but he'll person. give you some I'm telling you society some forget more. the face look at the person. at look at Samuel my creation audio colors and the then the fabrics, number of points the lines I choose they are meant to enhance the I person, assumed he was proud of his the face <laughs> the pop pennies the he face should is, uh, wait Casey sent the Ooh. but we need to give him some more well I'm trying <laughs> Wait, I don't know. I need to go to my mask. Oh, here it is. This was not showing up for me. I have no idea why. So it's icons from like oh. all the games or most of the games. Is that no, all the games. Or yeah, it's painted. 
That is cool. I think these are, yeah, like close ups. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Look at that, the clock. That's awesome. Oh. So there's the Nancy Drew denim jacket that Casey did. Really amazing, Casey. <laughs> like, look how cool that is. <laughs> Appa, it's not hashtag um, hearing some of my points. <laughs> Okay, Samuel wants us to get playing the game. <laughs> I'm ruining the stream. <laughs> you're the it's, no, con you're it's content. You're you're entertaining us. Uh, no, we need you on good. here. It's funny. Yeah. Um. Yes. And okay. Also, it's good to get. All right, we have Sleuthy on here. She's helping us out. All right. Okay. Thank you, Sleuthy. I thought maybe you were just to trying to redeem save Layla the makeup. That was a joke. <laughs> <clears throat> Any more questions? I'm on here. <laughs> Wait, what? I better get back to work. Redeem Lila. Music to my Well, you ears. can. You just have to pull it up on the iPad. I I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to pause everything so you can redeem that you can't hear? Well, no, or can you hear it now? Oh, she's doing the kazoo. Let's see if you can hear it. Okay. Lila. Yeah. Yeah, Alexander, Lila. Man, he's reading Banshee. What? I like Banshee. Emil's reading Banshee. You hear Lila? Yeah, I saw Lila and I heard him. Okay, sweet. I did. Lila's a her. Lila's a her. I think Kazoo's next. I think Sleuthy went to the mer or not the, the loyalty site and did it from there. So she did it before the new one. Yeah. Oh yeah, she did. It's in chat beforehand. Okay. Just higher up. Yeah, we're struggling. Uh, would you like to speak with Heather? Yeah, we need to play the game. We're gonna be here for like a million years. Okay, we're gonna get together. I understand. And your name is Oh, this part's great. You're gonna love this part. Oh shoot. Okay, you're over the kazoo. <laughs> There is no game, only kazoo. <laughs> oh, Vinci. I'm glad the audio magically fixed itself. Excuse me, dear. Nancy, tell her the designs are done and will be shipped to her by the end of the week. Then go to the work table and finish it. Sure, the video make up me pop any trouble. I appreciate it, Samuel. Piece of cake. Have you heard Carter's Prudence Rutherford? Because it's great. Oh, you need to hear it sometime. He's really good at all the eccentric old lady voices in the games. Yes. I don't know why. But he's just really good at those ones in particular. So, like, he can do Hotchkiss. He can do uh, Eustacia and Dropov. He can do um, Prudence. He can do Quigley Kim. Really good. Um, yeah. I forget, too. But the important thing is, I'm going to ship you some designs very shortly. Samuel, you can't add you points because you're not a week. you're not a moderator. You can only give points. So it'd be give, not add points. Sweet thing. Papa B did figure it out. Okay. And now... We have to do this. Are the designs this. I'm supposed to finish for Prudence Fashion Rutherford design. under here? All right, so do you remember the Golden Sleuth? Golden Sleuth video? Did I show you the actual video to show you uh, so. all our costumes? Okay, I'll just show you a quick second of it because we're, you know, doing <laughs> things here. Um, but it's context. It's important. So it was when we did the cosplay and we were doing like a play on yes. the a spoof on the Golden Girls. So that <laughs> outfit that Sleuthy's wearing, we're gonna we're gonna do stuff with that sort of fashion. So because what we're about to do is design fashion for Prudence Rutherford. So that's just a little taste of what her fashion taste is like. Okay. Um. Later, am I gonna show her the the dog video? Well, she follows. Well, or she's going to follow you on YouTube, so she can watch it on YouTube. Um, Sleuthy released a video today 
that is um, main the main characters in the Nancy Drew games and what dog they are. Okay. <laughs> so like Bess I was a, a Yorkshire Terrier. Uh huh. Um, I love it. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna watch your stream on Wednesday, short, Wednesday, so. Wednesday night. Just slip up this you plastic be, sheet. It's eight o'clock, right? Wednesday when you're gonna do it. Eight o'clock Eastern. Yeah. Yep. I'll be there. Um, Assuming that the creek does. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> okay, so we're doing a summer outfit first. Cool. So this one, uh, uh, that doesn't really matter. I need so, chromatic. So three of the pieces of clothing have to be the same color. Okay. No purses. So like we can't use either of these because purses. Um, no white, blonde, or yellow. She wants her feet to be furry, and <laughs> she's, uh, done, all she, she needs ask of life? one piece of sun protection. <laughs> not wear the pineapple. We're not going to wear the pineapple because we can't have a purse right now. Lord willing, the creek don't rise. Exactly. I say that all the time. Wait, so the pineapple's a purse? Yeah, it's a purse. See the strap at the top? It's got a... Because no, it like looks, goes over the arm. It looks like a, it's a pineapple you know, purse. It looks like a, it looks like a snake. Because uh -huh. it's just like curved up. Like it's how just would gonna... a pineapple with a snake coming out of it be a piece of clothing? I don't know. How Do you think it was gonna be a hat? <laughs> like a hat with a snake Could coming be. out the top? Yeah, kind of like a feather thing. Oh my you know? word! I don't know. So, <laughs> no patterns and no leather, no rain gear. I gotta write this. Down. And we yeah. need green. Well, it's right here. So she needs green on her legs and her head. So she has to, ooh, she has to have this because that's the only green. You could put pants. a, you can put a Publix grocery store. And this is, <laughs> that's green. That's the only hat that's green. <laughs> so we know that stuff. And then she wants something fuzzy on her feet, and yeah. it can't be this because she doesn't want white. It has to be those shoes. Pink. Uh -huh. Pink one. And then probably we're gonna need. Three. Doesn't want we any either white. Need, no we white. Either need no either yellow. Probably a third green thing or a. Some more pink because the chromatic consists. Okay. Um, She's got a feather boa, but it's summery. If you're going to look for logic in this, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> Is that a no. gun? Oh, yeah. There's a rifle. Ah, but it's yellow, so we can't have that. Is okay. that a rifle? It actually looks more like a shotgun. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know guys. How about that? Purple? We joked that Sleuthy for cosplay should have done an outfit with the gun, and then she was like, "No, I'm not gonna post that online." <laughs> so can she put that purple and green thing on? No, plans. no, because it said no patterns. No it, patterns and no. Yeah, how much? Do we have to have more pink thing? We could. We could do more pink, or we can do. Major. So we have What's the top and an accessory thing? are the only things left. What's the red thing by the bracket? We have to do more pink because she has two things of green. So mm -hmm. We would need one more green, and the only other two green things are shoes. We can't do more of. So it has to be pink because there's only two items left. Shirt and an accessory. Okay. So probably this. Summary. Oh, that's not what I meant to click. Um, <laughs> no white, <laughs> no yellow. Bunny ear. Can't wear a hat with a bow. Oh, she can have the bow. Ah, ah! To me. She's missing the sunglasses. So she was going to have the boa. Okay. So. <laughs> so Lucy said I'm smart enough to not do that. That cosplay. <laughs> Hello, Tori. Glad to see you. Tori! How you doing, honey? Okay, so is it the same parameters this time? Or no, we... the parameters are going to change each time, but the way that we approach it is going to be the same. So, no skirts. Um, she wants to be scantily clad. Um, 
But we can't we can't use any items from before, so that narrows the, narrows oh. it down. So, like we're not gonna use the boa again. Um, no. I had the face. That's the mask in the ear. Funny ears. Funny. Ears. Oh. <laughs> I can stop trying to put galoshes on her head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the list. No yellow, no primary. Tropical, there's the there pineapple. Yeah. So, the no, no jeans and no skirt. Do that. Primary colors, not that. It can't be that. Get right. No white. white. She needs something on her feet. Oh, was there a, no? Nothing flat. Oh yeah, not primary. So it's yet. either these. I feel like it might qualify these things. So, yes. Black cushion. That. Prayer. Uh, I don't know. That. Her top is red. No uh, primary okay. colors. You can wear the pink. Oh, because we already wore them. Show as much skin as possible. But these, these are short pants. Yeah, but they're jeans. Those blue pants. Those, oh, yeah. They I mean, it's the, it's, they have to be because it's the only things that are. It says no jeans. That's the only thing that. The only thing that. The no primary colors are yellow. Oh, I've got yellow. <laughs> oh my word, not no pants. <laughs> we tried no pants, it didn't work. <laughs> okay. Maggie, I'm glad you're back. <laughs> Corey, I'm glad you're doing good. This is the last one now. Okay. So, if it has something black, it also has to have something white. Top cannot be a single color. A pattern. Uh, no red. Boa, which we already knew. One piece of rain gear. 40, but like not the tennis racket. Dark Prudence and I have different choices for travel wear and regular wear. That's surprising. No dark sunglasses and no bright. No animals. Like not the not the bunny. No black or white. But she needs to have that black and white no shirt sleeves. on. No yeah. short sleeves. Oh, that's short sleeves. No, it said no. No short sleeves or short oh. pants. Oh, it's yeah, gotta yeah, be yeah, the yeah, purple the, one. This Sunglasses. No animals. <laughs> Got the boots. How do I put the boots down? Are the, the boots shoes. okay? Black or white, so that should not appear above the neckline. Uh oh, with oh. white glasses. So, oh, oh yes. Yeah, Can you put the black shoes on? I think. What? what? Well, that's that. Know. All three it. outfits are ready for you to send to Prudence. Looks Damn good to it. me. Evening bag. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, yes. Don't get us going on that. That's oh my the gosh. funniest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's all done. Okay, let's look at our task. Well, actually, let's save the game. Okay. That's finished. Check. Still need to do. Been there, That's done good. that. I'd like that too. Okay. Ha 
Aha! Where it worked. It worked. KJ? I told you, she's not answering her phone. Heather, I don't want excuses. I want JJ now. Nancy? It seems that Minette has finally thought up all the designs she needs for her spring collection. But instead of putting them down on paper, like a normal designer, she insists on creating them on a live Ooh, model. She's hence her sudden, desperate need for JJ. I don't really design many outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Say no more. No, I'll go I get think her. that this, Heather, like, this gal right here, excuses. she's enabling JJ. Go like the wind. I think she is what? She's enabling her. Which makes it, which She's her enabling behaviors. her bad behavior. Is it? She also dresses like a character from a Disney Channel movie mm -hmm. who's trying to be really cool and edgy from like 2006. It never changes. Uh oh. He Dad made me promise not oh, to no. <laughs> by myself out of dark. So we're this supposed to go to get JJ long. and Minette's screaming for her, but we're just gonna go home and sleep. Because it's too late in the day to travel back. Okay. So, so Minette's just gonna be good. waiting for JJ the entire night. <laughs> it's good for her. She's too demanding. Wait, she heard you talk about Wait. Do you turn around when we were talking about her? Who do we talk about? You may? That, that girl that works for her. Heather? Yeah, she turned around. On oh, the chair. well, yeah, because I, I put the mouse over her. I was gonna say, did we talk about one of the cats? You're back. I'm really bored. Let's play hangman. You know how to play, right? Hangman? <laughs> well, Why yeah, did you sure. say it like that, Nancy? Okay. <laughs> hangman? I'll think of a six-letter word, and you try to guess Speaking what it is. Bread. Ready? Ready. In French. Oh, word. <laughs> okay. E. You lose. A. I. That's a winner. O. Right you are. You. Incorrect. S. T. Oh, that went well. <laughs> D. Well, in French, there's only. It's not going to be in French, M. it's going to be in English. Bingo! N. That's a winner! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what in the <laughs> world is this word? That is not Paula Dean. Oh, my word. Aren't you sure it's English? <laughs> it's supposed to be. It's for <laughs> children. Afraid not. It's movie. Why? V. You lose. Oh. V. V. That G. You won. Play again? He went really fast from. This is no, not English to. Oh, duh. Time. It's this <laughs> word. <laughs> yeah, that's me quick. <laughs> Minette needs you at her studio. In fact, she's been screaming for you, literally. Really? Too bad. I'm not going anywhere until these mint chocolate chip cookies are finished. But if I go back there without you, Minette will fire me. Oh, well, again. Too bad. Silly me, I just said that, didn't I? Look, go to the studio. I'll finish those for you, okay? I'll do a great job, I promise. Well, I'll head over there. But I'm gonna call you before I set one foot inside Minette's studio. And if those aren't done, or if you try to lie, okay, I never lie. Ask anyone. Well, all right. Everything you need is right here. Recipe, baking sheet, mixing bowl, measuring cups and spoons, ingredients, and if you mess up and want to start over, just turn around and dump it down the sink. One problem though. The recipe calls for, for this meat. thick Only cookie batter down the, the sink. I had because it was moldy. So you're going to have to go out Can't and find suck. some more. Which could be hard because there's some kind of mint shortage thing going on. Oh, and I also <laughs> have some sugar. sugar. I think there's a way to substitute sugar. for it using molasses somehow, oh but that's your problem now. Remember, I'm going to call you when I your get problem. to Minette's. If those out cookies aren't done, sugar. I'm going to go shopping instead. And Minette's going to go bonkers. Ta-ta! No, sucre is sugar. It's no well Amy said it's salt in French. Oh. I was just sugar. Uh, salt is sound. What are books doing in here? What in the world is JJ doing with books on electrical engineering? Done. <laughs> well, here's some molasses. Hey, let's go buy some mint. 
No, she's just going straight to Manette's. We have to buy the stuff. She... I want to know why she's been making cookies for a day and a half and she still apparently hasn't started. Because we're having to do everything from scratch, so she's, I guess, been just smacking the spatula around in the bowl for an hour. A day and a half yeah. with nothing there. No, she hears them come up the stairs and grabs the bowl. Do you have the dictionary? The game will accept your answer if you don't. Uh, don't think that's true, because I have done it where you don't have the dictionary. And it worked. So. Bonjour. I have many new things. No, Amy, I don't. Well, the you French sure do. I know you are is sure to find not enough to like. get me any. Just, and that just ran to oh, me. Oh, I so. forgot about the other way of getting it. When you want ah, to let's, again, do let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that, and we'll buy the I book. Will. Au revoir. Au revoir. You lost me. Okay, so there's two oh, options no, for getting the it. mint. As you um, can see, you have many new market. things to choose from. Um, what intrigues you? Yeah, so, so you can buy the mint there, but it's like 50 euros. Well, and let's see. What's in here? <laughs> if you are cooking, We're not going to steal it. An ingredient, <laughs> that book tells you what you can use in its place. So if you must cook, you must have that book. Fortunately, I charge only 8 euros. Six euros I don't think we're going to sing the French national anthem. But, uh... Oh, no. No, I'm not. So, I, can't I had forgotten there's right a now. life hack Very where well. you can go to the well, restaurant well. and get a dish well, that has well. mint on it and just take it out of your food and that, and it's magically enough. I can't explain how it's magically enough, but it is. <laughs> I like the fact that that's a thing, though, for people that are, like, trying to really think through this because of how expensive the other is. Gonna have, we're gonna need all the extra charcoal. Mademoiselle de Roux, what is it now? Do you think I could order something? Order anything you like. But know that this time, you will pay for it. No problem. Henri? I would like the creme de glace. Très bien. Ça fait 5 euros. That will be five euro. Money well spent, I hope. Ice cream with a sprig of mint on top. So refreshing. I need these, to take that mint so I can make those cookies for JJ. These two leaves somehow become mint like mint an entire pile of <laughs> mint. <laughs> How to use it? Uh, I hate. Mm. As we see in the Herbal. U.S. Mm -mm. That's not a fancy. So, what else do you wish from me? We'll talk again later, okay? A tout à l'heure. Yeah, I don't think I ever knew about the fact you could do that with the ice cream mint when I was a kid. Like, I learned that as an adult. It's funny how many things there are that I didn't know about. Still grew up and talked to other people, and they were like, oh, yeah, well, you can obviously do this, that, and the other. And I'm like, what? I didn't know any of that. Just chop up this mint. There, I'm ready. Hey, how to does start that become cooking. all that? I'm gonna do what with ice cream? There's mint on top of the ice cream, and you can take that instead of buying mint. Um. Hmm, so brown sugar. Oh, it's half a cup. So a teaspoon per half cup. So, so how much do? A half cup. Well, technically, this is dark brown sugar, which is not the same thing. I don't think they are parsing that. I don't. Um, I mean, they're they're not. They consider it the same thing, but those are not the same thing. So, three cubes of. That's a very uh. <laughs> very clear <laughs> measurement. Here, you want to do some of it? <laughs> Not hard. Turn the. I'll turn my mouse sensitivity what's, down. What's the cup Here. of? I did a cup of white sugar, so now it's. So now it's a half a cup of sugar and a tea. So how do I? Do? So you click on the half cup, and then you click on the sugar. And then you click on the bowl. Uh, we're not mixing them ahead of time. Putting it in both oh, in there. Oh, I did. Okay. Yeah. 
Which All is, right. again, not how you do it. Well, and then we need a half a teaspoon? No, one teaspoon. One teaspoon. Didn't have to do it. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, what's next? Hard? Okay, three eggs. three eggs. Teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah, the vendor of the park charges a lot more than. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. I think I'll throw oh. this <laughs> out. Oh no! Oh no! I oh, missed the whole It's fine, thing it's fine, out. everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'll just get it back where we were. How many was that? That was just two. Okay. Because the one just glitched out and didn't. Um. Okay. Now your three eggs. You got three eggs in there? Yeah, a teaspoon of vanilla. Love that it looks exactly like the mold. They just use the same image. Okay, we're gonna have to look at the recipe. But we just click on it again to make it go back. Two and a quarter cups of Yeah, you have to wait for her to stop mixing it, because apparently she won't. <laughs> Baking soda, four teaspoons. Fast forward. Then there's the mint. Yeah. You have to use the measuring cup. Got a cup of. Why oh, it looks like it's melted in the thing. <laughs> is not in the box it's in a bag yes it's in a bag but so what do i click on it again uh wait okay so now we have we a, have to bake we just it. we have to put it on the cookie sheet so how do i do um is that click the on it sheet? yeah well look at that which i wish it would do that in real <laughs> hmm. must be the mint that makes their edges turn up like that I'll just cool the cookies off of this In case you're wanting no people done. have tested it. So, is this good? Yeah. And yeah. what do I do? Uh, back up. Yeah. Don't drink. But we need to answer it. Hello? Is there a baby cookie well, are they done? Well, there they do. They well, there's sure only are. one option. Describe them. Describe them? Describe them. I've made them before, so I'll know you're lying if you fail to mention the one thing that makes them different from other cookies. Well, their edges curl upwards? Bingo! Nice going! Because of you, Minette is about to become a very happy camper. We can just go out. Want me to take back? Yes, do I just get out? Yeah. Up it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I'm doing doing well. Can't yeah. check. Been 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 there, done that. Check. Load her down. <laughs> Oops, haven't done that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Minette's house of design. I need to speak to Minette. May I tell her who's calling? No, just get her on the phone. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take a message. Get her on the phone now. Who <laughs> is this? Are you hmm. going to Are connect the... me with me? Uh -huh. No. Wrong answer. Mm. Mm. Where is the... Oh, oh yeah, stuck. Okay, so now that means... Wait, what's the purpose of stuff? Uh, so she leaves so we can snoop. She's not here, so... Cool. I mean, I think, oh, whatever. But uh, remember the the dodo box that we put the note in, the threatening note we got at the very beginning. Do you remember the threatening note at the beginning that was like like the magazine cutout letter? I don't remember what. Well, we got a threatening note and it got put in here, and we weren't allowed to see it or keep it or anything. So now, because the other isn't here. Oh, hello, Jetpack. Glad to see you. Hope your day's been going well. Surviving, uh, tax season. <laughs> Jetpack, what you make up for dinner? Corey, you're so right. We need to be able to look at more things on the desk. They kind of stingy with it. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna snoop, you want a lot of Bacon and eggs with toast is good to eat. Always. I like bread. Some people are very uh, legalistic about it and are like, you can't have breakfast except at breakfast time. Like, but breakfast food is too yummy to only have at breakfast time. It really is. In my opinion. <laughs> it really is. And Surviving is the word I'd use. Yeah. If yeah, you're working, it's a very I'm just making soup, like Ah, oh, I agree. You're so right, I'm not Abby. a morning person, so... <laughs> I think I also just have really nostalgic memories of you making pancakes and stuff for dinner. We had times where like we had candlelit dinners with pancakes and sausage and stuff and it was like it's just so cozy. cozy. Like it's <laughs> just such a good memory. That was the significance of the dodo. I couldn't tell. No. Not that I know of. It's just a box that there's probably some sort of superstition thing. Um, <laughs> what? Mama Bee's not a morning person? <laughs> um, but... Well, Papa, everybody now realizes that you are a morning person. <laughs> the letters on this one look different than the letters on the others. You're as mean as you thought was. You know, she is me and thoughtless. So 
Are we going to rock? Are we going to care what happens the to point is, <laughs> The point is that that one looks different than the rest of these. Right here. So they're all just sort of vague threats. Well, like these all seem, these three seem to be from the same person. This one seems like maybe it could be from a different person. So that's so what we've got to figure out. Yeah, why would you? That's what we're gonna find out. That's finished. We need to go by the parrot now. Unless there's something. I just. Did you try to get? No. <laughs> I have not tried to cut open the parrot. Wow. I mean, that's pretty cool. Sometimes you're a person is sometimes a parrot. I didn't even know that was... Come back. See, the pro my problem is that I'm both, and so I'm just... <laughs> I, I either... I'm, just not in the mood. I'm barely a person in the morning. Again, just come Amen. Back. That's really nice. That is so me. <laughs> I, I love the feeling of being up in the morning, but why can I not... I can't move. Okay. Oh. That That's why I couldn't like move. Wonder what he's doing. What? Hey, Dieter. Dieter. I'm reading the book. There's a character in it named Dieter. Hi. What if he's a big Is he a Dieter. German Dieter. photographer? Dieter. No, he's German, he but he is a. That was weird. Well, Looks he's like a he climber. Left something on the bench. These must have fallen out of his pocket. I want to know. Why there is a trend is that or not? That's the woman who that historian was calling about. Why would Dieter be carrying this around? There's a trend in the. Uh... Not really. You can if you want to, but it's not really that important. <laughs> okay. I mean, like she's very important, but I don't know if the article, typically itself, is very important. Do you have the parent? Bon no. And... You will ask to return. No. I have many new things. You see the button? Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Doll's head. Looks good. like Robin Williams to you. I can see it. That's Actually, funny. I'm not interested in buying um, anything right I don't now. think you have so to buy the cookbook thing or the Bye. dictionary. Au revoir. At least from my experience. Um, I mean, Abby, are you All asking you. if Dieter what has a photographer to see on a Well, let's see. No, the, the Dieter in the book. Is well, we haven't actually expensive? met him. The price is very reasonable. Twenty. Euros. But I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm willing to pay fifteen euros. After I get that far. Bondu. What else tickles the fancy? No. This jetpack. Okay. You know what? Right now. You know what? As, <laughs> as jetpack knows, I have, I have beef with Chelsea, but. But I will cut her the one bit of slack with the Megan Fox thing, because the question was, do you get told, or what celebrity do you get told that you look like? Not what celebrity do you think that do you think you look like, or that you objectively look like. It was what do people tell you, and she could be lying about it. But I feel like her facial features, she does look like Megan Fox, like she's she's a little bit like chubbier than Megan Fox and she has lighter hair than Megan Fox but like her like her nose and her eyes like I see it it's, it's there like I could see someone telling her she looked like her well, um, love is blind. That a movie person. that's trash TV you don't want to waste <laughs> your time on it you wasted your time on it but now I don't understand yeah, the it's conversation uh, <laughs> apparently that means Olivia thinks it's either too risque for me or too scary for oh, the, me. Oh, yeah, there's some of, there's some <laughs> risque. It's, it's a reality TV show. It's uh, a reality dating show. Oh, no, I wouldn't. It's by uh, Nick Lachey. <laughs> you know Nick Lachey? Definition of jetpacks. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little chubbier than Megan Fox. <laughs> Who is Megan Fox? Is she on something a, else she's I know? She's like super famous. She's like one of those people I don't that's. Know her. <laughs> well, she's known for just being hot. Like that's what she's known for, is being uh, being hot. And, well, um, well, Mr. B, you're probably not chubby in the same place as she is. Then. <laughs> you have to get them out of there. Who? So what do you know who Nick Lachey is? Have you heard of him before? These, You've never heard of Nick Lachey? Out. Okay. They're all over anyway, the place. Anyway, he's some guy who thinks he's way cooler than he probably actually is. But if you go back a few decades, so probably. 
So, <laughs> so he and his wife have this dating show. That the whole concept is this question of is love blind? So it's they put the people in these rooms where mm -hmm. they have like microphones or whatever, so they can talk through the wall. So they have to talk with the like, guys and, and girls are talking with each other without ever seeing the other people. Like so the, the girls see each other, game? but they're not seeing any of the guys. The dating game where the where the find the guys on one side and the three bachelorettes are on the other side of the screen and they're asking questions. They don't see what Yeah, it's like by. that, but with okay, but with more people. So like both oh. sides have an equal number of people. And so they're like going on dates with everybody on the other side of the wall to see if they're a match. They're going on virtual. They don't actually. See they don't get other. to see each other. They get to hear okay. each other, and all of that, okay. but they don't get to see each other. Okay. And so they have to decide based off of that if. Um, so just on their hear on their voice. Yeah, like they'll they'll answers. talk to them and, and yeah they'll ask them questions about like what's your values. Um, but they don't do get for to fun like smell. <laughs> Why smell? It's like fair, fair enough. You know? no, it's, it's not. I think it's, it's not like a fair the people are attracted so, to each other based on those kind of things that are so subtle. It's you know? all about like it's kind of like old school, like arranged marriage kind of stuff. Honestly, except it's just the people are the ones arranging it. So it's like you go through your list of do you meet all the things I'm looking for, and I feel like we could be friends and have you know have fun together and stuff. And so then you say yes, and if you are saying yes, like you will, um, you propose, like mm -hmm. I will propose. And then once they propose, they get to meet in person, mm -hmm. assuming they still like each other, which at least the vast majority of them have said they still liked each other, if only to save the other person's <laughs> <laughs> self esteem or whatever. Well, I mean, then and it... then they go on a trip to like the Bahamas or somewhere. Where they're in person, uh -huh. and then they they do some raunchy stuff, <laughs> and it's not safe for. And they decide if they and really then, like each other. Which some of them don't. There's some of them okay. like the only couple from this last season. Spoiler alert: If you haven't seen season six, so of Love you is Blind. Watch this. Um, yeah, I it, feel very it's a justified. trashy one of my show, favorite, and you're one of my me favorite how to couples. Watch it and you're watching it. <laughs> one of my favorite couples from this season ah. was the only couple to stay together, and they. Did not get frisky or anything before they got married. They, they were like super wholesome and adorable. Long? Huh? How long did they stay together? Like six months or something? I think they're still married. It's been over a year, Ooh. a year and a half later. <laughs> so well, I mean Okay, they don't put ugly people on this show. No, they don't they're have, all they're all attractive. Yeah, they don't put people that have the, the issues all the rest of it, right? They find really attractive people that are educated and well. All yeah, I mean, like, there that... was my other favorite couple. I was really sad that they split up, and I haven't watched all the reunion episodes, so I don't know if any <laughs> additional stuff's happened. But, um... <laughs> I just want to get this straight! <laughs> Let me go back in the chat to find... Was it was it Jetpack who told <laughs> just me? throw in some unconventional... <laughs> Jetpack told me it's the definition of trash TV... And you are oh watching gosh, look, it all not the time? <laughs> the roaches. What the heck? Carter! <laughs> Carter's here. Oh, Carter, Carter you can tell us about Love is Blind. No, she, Carter, watch, Carter watches Carter. it. Carter watches it. I'm going to call your mom. <laughs> <laughs> you can't watch that trash TV, too. Oh, my gosh, I'm crying. Oh, my gosh, we're, yes. yes. we're talking about Love is Blind. <laughs> yes, and she told me it's too trashy. And she's watching it herself. Maybe you should just call an exterminator. What <laughs> in the heck? No. no. I mean, like, you can no. handle it, but Whatever you'd be rolling your eyes and wanting to throw some of the TV the whole time. <laughs> go in there and put them back in the box. I'm just trying to spare Carefully. you my pain. Does Mr. B have it was to painful. watch this also? No. Good. <laughs> no, I watched it while he was not looking. at work or something. <laughs> oh. Hello, Carter. Carter. <laughs> Don't want worry. to hear you. I'll get them out of there for you. Good hearing the thing about what you've done. Oh my gosh. That must be the box. You're supposed to be setting a good example. Is it like that Bachelor Red show? Because it's. I think it's. I think it's less raunchy than my understanding of that, but it's kind of a similar vein. 
Yeah, I mean, I basically watch it to complain <laughs> about it. Like, I. Clue crew and love is blind. Shoot, Crossover yes. discussion. Oh I'm sorry. Mama, this is important. Looking this is important. Like the ones that were used in one of those threatening notes Manette got. Which means Heather must have sent it. Do I like that? <laughs> no, what Nancy just said. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but my eyes were working, so my my ears didn't. <laughs> well, the, the, what Nancy said is on the screen. <laughs> what? Why is that an issue of your eyeballs working and your ears not working? <laughs> I, was, I, I knew you weren't listening, so I was like, here, what Nancy said, and you're just like, which one do I like? If you knew I wasn't listening, why are you giving me a hard time of it? Because the words are right there on the screen, and I pointed at them. It's like a teacher. <laughs> Attention. <laughs> oh okay, gosh. give me a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay, you some one of Right. So did Heather send it? That's what she just said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but she, is she right? Just if because... Nancy says this must have happened, she's right pretty much all the time. Or we're at least supposed to assume it's right for this time being. <laughs> <laughs> and a <Wait>. half. <laughs> I gotta get caught up. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, that's what Carter was reacting when he got on. Because he was getting on right as we were doing the roach stuff. Oh, uh, I'm not doing the roach thing. I'm that's why I'm, that's yeah. why I'm <laughs> It's in the candy? It, Lord have so, mercy. So, no. this is part of the whole like, thing with people are threatening um, Manette. Ah! Uh, no, because, I can't. Okay, so people are no. threatening... Someone's threatening Manette. Because we got the threatening letters. So this threat was someone sent her a box of chocolates, but she opened it and it was roaches uh. inside of it. Dear Miss Manette, the ministry and the books on the women of the French resistance. Use that salt thing for that. The salt thing? <laughs> it probably wouldn't work on Oh, you mean the thing that we have? <laughs> well, that's not going to help us in the game. It also wouldn't work on them because they have like a hard shell, right? They do. That's what makes yeah, them so awful. Yeah, so that's awful. why that, that works on things that are soft. Yeah, can't squish them because it's corrosive. Like a wedge sword or something. Late times over, little guy. Poor girl. I'm catch up with <laughs> yes, Jetpack, we're a hoot and a half, and I will be the half. <laughs> oh, I love Hallmark. Uh, when calls the heart. Oh, I, I like shows. I like when calls yeah, the heart. Yeah, 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 not exactly like the book. The books are really good. Yeah, and I hate roaches. If I were an fine. insect, where would I hide? Hey, Joshua's on. Hey, Joshua, how are you doing? <laughs> Say goodnight, Tom. Oh, finally. And it flew on you? And the, the roaches start flying. Oh my oh, word. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's like I would just bugs. give up. I would just move. <laughs> I saw all the roach haters here. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm hurrying, guys. We got two left. Okay, one left. One left. <laughs> Yes. Don't activate banshee mode on these things. <laughs> I don't know that a banshee screaming is going to scare them off. Well, it's worth a try. <laughs> There's someone spiraling and nothing's happening. It's literally just. Oh my gosh, Tori C. Renaissance what? woman. She can handle the Madagascar hissing. Roaches as well. <laughs> He's a semi resume. I don't know where the last one is. The last one. The last roach. Oh, oh got it. Uh, it's the last one. Yeah, it's in the dark somewhere. The last bug. You can Your open the door now, Manette. Roaches? Did you get all of the bugs? Yes, Manette. How many are there? I don't know, nine? Are they all alive? Mm. Yes, Manette. Are you sure you didn't kill she any? She didn't want her to Positive. kill the And they're all in the box? Yes. Okay, listen. I want you to take that box to the park and let Yeah, Mr. Beat, I don't go. think that's worth it. Only I don't want to be here when you come out. Also, Mr. Beat is the, the soup on, on love. What the little vermin are thinking about right now is revenge. 
Manette, they're cockroaches. Yes, but they're exactly. So I want you to count to ten. <laughs> oh, then, oh yeah, I do need to show that. Are you to come out of there? All right. Anything you say. Three with the One, Monica. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> what a yes. nut job. Put this. We need we need our song so we can dance. After the bugs, Everyone, you are out of here. Please just stop it. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're all done with the. <laughs> oh, what? Are you, what are you hitting me? We were getting rid of them. Oh, we were getting rid of them. <laughs> stop hitting me. We're supposed to be dancing, and you smack. Me. So I don't get to, do, I don't get to the dance the song. Why is that pigeon it. twerking? <laughs> Why is it happening? What are we supposed to be doing? Because they done oops, dumped out a bunch of roaches and they'll eat. Been there, okay, we need oops, to go oops. confront Heather. Haven't done that. Can't About check what? that off yet. Well, okay, we don't have to. Would you like to get Heather fired for threatening Manette? <laughs> You guys want us to get him fired or not? How many times let's go talk to Dieter? <laughs> no fire. <laughs> Carter says fire her in all caps. <laughs> <laughs> not off with her. <laughs> what a superbly featured room. You say fire her. Fire her. Fire her. Get Mr. Von uh, Schwesterkonk? Are you in there? Who's there? Name is Schwester. Nancy Drew. I just wanted to ask you some questions. What kind of name is that? I'm very busy. You'll have to come back. I just wondered what you were doing in Square du Verre Galant Park. It's like someone who doesn't know anything about German is like, I don't know, Germans just kind of put a bunch of letters in there, make it really long unnecessarily. Why were you carrying it Oh my gosh, that video. Carter, just type exclamation point loyalty and go look at the list. It tells you. <laughs> Alright, jetpack. Have a good rest of your evening. Like oh, bye, jetpack. It's good to see you. Carter, <laughs> I asked, I told, I asked Lip to get me a list like on paper so I could know and she like, just look it up on the thing. But What's behind the panel? Go ahead and see for yourself. I like a pencil and a piece of paper. I will get you a list. Also, I'm not ready for. Well, that's because. Late uh, at night no, when I'm all alone, I'm... I put my face in the fire. <laughs> really? Uh. <laughs> no, you can't leave, okay. Carter. So we have... Are you going to leave before or after we get her fired? <laughs> Wait, does that... If you're staying for that, does that mean I should just go ahead and do that? Right now I'm about to do like the worst puzzle in any Nancy Drew game. What's up with this? Any me. Well, that's because late at night when I'm all alone, I put my face in the fire. Really? We're just paralyzed. What, 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 are you, what are you trying? Everything on the three. Oh, did I actually get it? Oh my gosh, I actually got it. Okay, we are never going back in here ever again. <laughs> Mr. Von Schwesterkronk, believe it or not, that key your uncle gave you opened up some kind of passageway. Is it okay if I see where it goes? A passageway? You never said anything about Oh yeah, that. yeah, save it. Save it. Go ahead and explore it all you want. Just be careful. This building is very old. Yes, Mr. B. Whoa, that's a biggie. Okay, sorry, there's a spider here, but it's fine. I don't mind spiders. Bet you. Got that, because I'm never going back in here ever again in my life. I wonder what that um. symbol means. <laughs> 
Because it's so hard to get that puzzle at the beginning. The year when and it looks our easy. despair ended. The year when my despair. Yeah, I got really lucky on that. That was streamer luck. It's, uh, I don't know. One of the <laughs> Encoder. The Enigma. Mean, whatever. I wonder what that thing is. Don't tell. Okay, time to go fire Heather. Too. Did you get the stuffed parrot? Here you go. What's it for, anyway? It's a Manette thing. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> no one would. Nobody understands the Manette thing. What's with all the red paint that splattered on the wall in Manette's studio? Yeah, fire I came in one party. morning last month, and there it was. Manette must have had a bad night. You didn't ask her about yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, I was Manette trying to ask, ask her or something upset. before Remember she was going to when you first arrived? Oh yeah, the pot okay, of we're plant. firing her. I get your point. Oh, we're not firing her. Why we're accusing, so she gets fired. Letter? What? You think I wrote those letters? I saw the memo you sent Minette about fonts. The letters on it match the letters on one of the threats I found in her dodo box. You opened Minette's dodo box? That's the real reason you didn't want me looking in there, isn't it? Okay. A couple months ago, I got so fed up with her that I... I just had to get back at her somehow. I'd seen how upset those other letters made her, so I sent one of my own, but just that one. And I never intended to really do anything to her. I just wanted her Wait, to suffer. this isn't the thing you that gets her fired. Know, emotionally. It's Look, telling you're not going to tell Minette about, about this. this, are you? There's really no need. It'll just upset well, her all sorry. over again. And she's so far behind as it I is. Need to, and Claire, there's no you're telling how like she no take it out on me. Tonight. Or on you, for that matter. Just for oh, the go do it in just a second. So don't say anything to her, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about it. I'll see you later. Really? There's like a piece of metal in the front that's getting... What? There's something that I think you should know about uh. here. Oh, what? One of those anonymous letters you got was from her. No, those letters aren't from Heather. One of them is. I thought that. This is all very confusing, as you can imagine. You're going to have to leave while I sort it all out. Just go. Go away, please. Well, sometimes she lets you. They let you talk to. Interesting material. You're not touching that, are you? I was just looking. <laughs> what kind of material is this? It's a brand new blend. Doesn't even have a name yet. I've forgotten how many opportunities you do? had to change your mind about that. Just I had two. It's just being really awkward. That's uh, Manette. Our main character is a suspect here. Well, I guess you'd call her a suspect. Um, and <laughs> and uh, she's a fashion What's designer. Up? Uh, I was hoping we could tell know. Heather, hey, so we just totally just <laughs> tattled on you. <laughs> okay. Can't check that off yet. That's, oops, can't check that off yet. Been there. That's finished. Okay, need, we need to call check, Lynn can't Henry. Check, oops, haven't done that. That's finished. Been there, done that. Check. Oops. Haven't done that. Let's go. Uh -oh. Mr. Oh. <laughs> I used to freak Suki out about attack. it and then I realized <laughs> it's Suki. Yeah. Hence redeems. No. Race is back. Suki, tate. Stirring batter. Well, she's not in her kitchen, so I don't know where else she'd be stirring batter. 
Is the stove on? Oh, okay. I thought I saw that and thought the stove was on. Which is very suspicious. She does something besides stir cooking. Nope. Well, not in this game. <laughs> I want JJ now. <laughs> he is a bit underutilized. Joe, it's Nancy. Nancy? As in Drew? I thought you were in France. I am in France. Frank, pick up the phone down there. It's Nancy Drew calling from France. Everything okay? Everything's great. <sighs> hey, Nancy. Hi, Frank. Whoa, you sound out of breath. Not out of breath, out of shape. Me? Hey, you're the one who's been taking a break for the last two hours. Break from what? Carrying furniture upstairs. Carpet layers are coming to redo the basement tomorrow, so we gotta get everything out. And I use the term we loosely. Hey, I'm pacing myself here. You're in the kitchen eating jelly donuts, aren't you? Not anymore. And it's him. Not anymore. Well, I made it to Paris. I should okay. have called him Wait, earlier when JJ was here. Right now, I'm in the Latin Quarter. Wait a minute. I thought you were in France, if not you Central call America. When JJ's here, She's in the Latin out Quarter of Paris, Joe, Joe not Latin JJ America. They call it the Latin Quarter because it's where the Sorbonne University is. And until 1793, Latin was the area's official language. Oh, what are you doing there? I'm in the apartment Amy Grunhild arranged for me. In fact, did I tell you who my roommate is? Is it somebody we know? Jing Jing Ling. Jing Jing Ling? The model? You're rooming with JJ Ling, Freaks the out more Australian because he model? Hears her face. Yep. Put her on. Joe, just calm down. I'm calm. I'm very calm. I'm completely calm. <laughs> I just want to say hi. That's all. Put her on. I can't put her on, Joe. She's not here. Sorry. Oh. Think maybe you could put her on later? Maybe later, yeah. Sweet. I'll let you go. Keep in touch. Bye, Nancy. Yeah. Nine, five, five. This is the lady about calling about uh, North Set. Modern European history, Lynn Manrique. Hello, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Paris. Actually, I talked to you earlier when you tried to call Manette. She's finally calling me back? Wonderful. Please put her on. Uh, I'd like to, but I'm afraid she's still too busy to talk to you. But if you don't mind, could I ask you a couple of questions about Noisette Tournade? Certainly. You mentioned hidden plunder in your letter to Minette. What did you mean? Some people said that during the war she took various pieces of artwork, mostly from churches, and stashed them away somewhere so they wouldn't fall into enemy hands. Were they recovered after the war? The artwork remains lost to this day. No one knows exactly what Noisette took, or if indeed she took anything. You see, from 1942 until the liberation of Paris, Noisette worked as a translator for the Germans by day and an encoder for the French resistance by night. This, as you might imagine, made everyone suspicious of her, both French and Germans alike. And after the war, things got ugly. Especially when people found out she was romantically involved with a German soldier. His name was Hans. Hans von Schwesterkrank. You're kidding me. Was he by any chance related to Dieter von Schwesterkrank, the fashion photographer? I'm afraid I have no idea. Hans left Paris right after the war and never returned, leaving Noisette to fend for herself. She was tried as a collaborator in 1946 and acquitted, but the experience left her quite bitter. She never married, you know. Very private person. She served as Paris's director of public works for more than 20 years, yet not one person has been able to tell me what her favorite color was. In any case, Noisette was terribly hurt that the city she loved had turned on her like that. After her trial, she told the press that the truth of what she'd done during the war resided in her and in the person and place she loved the most. And that was that. She never spoke of her wartime activities again. I assume that the person she was referring to was Hans von Festerkonk, who passed away a year or two ago. 
and that the place was her beloved Mulan, which is where she lived for almost half a century after the war. That's why I'm hoping Manette will allow manages. me to visit it. What does now, that even I've mean? I've got a question for you. In the hours before she died, Noisette was said to have constantly muttered three words, red, left, green. Is there anything inside the Mulan that has to do with red, left, green? Anything at all? No, but I'll keep that in mind and let you know if I see something. I'd appreciate it. Any other questions? It had more. After the war, when she was the director of public works, what kind of things did Moisette do? She oversaw many of the services which the citizens of Paris enjoyed every day. Maria Streets, couldn't tell bridges, you. parks, their maintenance all came under Noisette's purview. She particularly enjoyed putting various forms of art on permanent display in various public places, especially parks. What did you mean when you said Moisette was tried as a collaborator? Collaborators were French citizens who not only failed to resist the occupation, but actually helped the Germans keep it going. Because Noisette had worked for the Germans as a translator and had a German boyfriend, after the war, many of her countrymen automatically accused her of collaboration. When it was revealed that she had been a member of the resistance, instead of exonerating her, that just made some people think she'd been spying for the Germans, too. As I said before, it was an ugly time, one which poor Noisette spent the rest of her life trying to forget. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Call back any time. Um, because because Noisette is tied to the to the place that Minette's do. So she's wanting not snoop around, but she's wanting to see. But that woman that she wanted to know, he had been calling for Minette. And right, she, like, she's trying to call Minette so that she can come. She's hoping to find some. Um, Tori says, stop collaborating and listen. Um, <laughs> Oh, Abby. All right, Abby. I'll see you later. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Yes. Love you. Nice. This isn't Jing Jing. I'm just calling from her phone. From her phone? So you know Jing Jing? Are you her friend? Well, yeah, I guess. You are the most lucky person in the world. I am a big fan of Jing Jing. I call her house and leave massage. I call Minette because I know she works there, but she will not talk to me. She is too... what is the word? Paranormal? Uh, you mean paranoid? Yes, yes, paranoid. So, if you are not Jing Jing, why do you call me? This is Zhu, right? Yes, yes, I am Zhu. Well, Zhu, my name is Nancy Drew, and I saw a symbol on the wall when I was in an underground <laughs> passage not too long ago. It looked like two leaves with two nut-type things attached to them, and I just wondered if you could tell me what it meant or why it was there. Yes, yes, of course I can. But first, you must have Jing write something for me. Write something for you? You must have her write something that I can keep. Have her write, Zhu, my love, Jing. Take the metro to the Danfer Rochereau station, enter the catacombs, find the bones from the Magdalene Cemetery, and put the autograph in the skull below the plaque. Have her write Zoo, my love Jing, go to the catacombs, find the Magdalene Cemetery bones, and leave the autograph in a skull. Yes, yes, exactly that. Don't worry about desecrating the person whose bones they may be. The skull, it is a fake. My friend and I put it there. And so, after you deliver it, you call me and I tell you Just all the about the devil you stole. But what if Jing Jing refuses? Uh -huh. Then, Nancy Drew, it seems. 
Perhaps we will both be very disappointed. This person would not be attractive even on the blind. Love is both. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's supposed to be him. <laughs> of course, that's a He's real person. Kind of thing. That noise. <laughs> like a cat yowling. Hey, Rumi, Damn. how's it going? Let's play hangman. Okay. You know the rules, right? Yep, I sure do. Great. Okay, I'll think of a six-letter word and you try to guess what it is. Ready? Ready. Why are we doing Z. U. M. Y. L. Bingo! O. Bingo! V. Because E. You are spelling J. a message. Oopsie. Because she I. won't sign an autograph because nope. he's N. a weird stalker. Correct. For real though, Lou. Lou says if anyone calls you like this in real life, don't do it. Just call the police. <laughs> she wasn't even close. Lou, Can you have I'm that piece gonna... of paper? Sure. <laughs> wanna play again? Maybe later. Anytime you want to play, just let me know. Is I'll let you get back to your cookie dough. Yeah, Ciao, yeah we trick her into giving her six. The whole reason why we're allowed to play uh, Hangman in this game. It's Zoo My Love Jing. So, the. It's Zoo My. But. Puts it all up the same, on the same line. Play, on the same That's line. Timeless coin in my purse. Magdalene. Five, this must be the place Zoo was talking about. And there's a skull. So there's pictures. Zoo sure picked a weird drop-off place for that autograph. Uh, as we go, make it easier. Now I'm just thinking of the zoom 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 thing from Pitch Perfect. <laughs> They're trying to do cool things to talk about. Mr. Von Schwesterkrank? Are you in there? Your Zoo's related to Zippy? Nancy Drew. That is a good question. I just wanted to ask you some questions. I'm very busy. You'll have to come back. But this is really important. Is there anything I can do to help you? Well, if you want, you could take some stock photos for me. Sure. The list of things I need pictures of is on my desk. You can use the camera I let you borrow. I'll get right on it. Now we can oh, see. No, the list is in French. You know what any of this is? Why? What are we trying to do? We're gonna have to make pictures of those. Yes. Why do we have to take <laughs> Uh, because he asked us to. Instead of saying. Haven't seen it. Oh, Tori is a music person. You, you gotta see it. You gotta see it. You'll be rolling your eyes the whole time, but. I didn't like it. Yeah. It's, but it's trashy. I've gone through phases with it where, like, I really loved it, and then I was like, this is trash and gross. And then I've come back around to, there's stuff in it that is beyond trash and gross, but then there's a lot of it that's it's it's, it's really trash funny. And gross. <laughs> no, there's, there's stuff in it that is really funny. I wonder if, now that she's here, we can call the Hardy Boys again. Joe can hear her. Find out. Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. Is Joe there, too? Joe, pick up. It's Nancy. Right here. 
Hey, Nance, is Jing Jing with you? Well, yes, she is, but... Let me talk to her, just for a second. Joe, she's busy, and I really yes. don't know her that well. You're not talking about me, are you? Oh my gosh, that was her? That was J.J. Ling? Joe, you're hyperventilating. Of course I'm hyperventilating, that was J.J. Ling! <laughs> what else is going on, Nance? <laughs> Anyway, that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Just because that's quite entertaining. Yes, yes, he deserves his moment. Yes, he does. Um, It's Nancy Drew. Did you get the autograph? It is magnifique. You were wise not to try to fool me, Nancy. I know Jing's handwriting better than I know my own. So, here is what I know about that symbol. I call it the hazelnut because to me, that is what it looks like. A noisette. Wait a minute. A noisette? Yes, yes. That is French for hazelnut. I have seen it in only one place in the catacombs. To reach this place, return to the catacombs and go to the skull where you left Jing Jing's autograph. Lift the top part of the skull and push the red button. That will open a secret passage so that will lead you to the Noisette. Do is Great. quite the character. Thank you. But if you go there, you must be careful. The tunnel police, they are one <laughs> problem. <laughs> the tunnel, they <laughs> are another. What do you mean? Some of the tunnels, what do you especially mean? near the Mouton Beverage Company, they are water... water yeah, we have trees. to learn about you mean Mouton water water logged? logged? Ah, yes, yes, water logged. You must swim underwater to reach the place where I saw the noisette. And the water is very cold. You will need a wetsuit. Good luck, Nancy Drew. You will need that too. Okay. Let's go get stuff. It'll be dark in a few minutes. I'm oh going to head back to Jane. Nancy. It is perfectly light outside. <laughs> I'm gonna go sleep. She won't let me not sleep. I got too late. So <laughs> let's just go 24 7, Nancy. <laughs> We're gonna go here because we need to get the wetsuit and check on something else. Um, to the memory of the French fighters. This time. Well, let's see. A wetsuit. Not just any wetsuit. It used to belong to a friend. Corey, a do you by any chance know what the cheapest he'll take for this Cousteau, is? A friend who is said to have shared many adventures Thanks with him. For that reason, I sell it for 125 euros. Uh, I couldn't possibly pay more than 63 euros. Vendu. Yes! What there's tickles? 50% off, I'll take it. What is this thing? I have been told that it is probably a decoder used by those who resisted the German occupation of World War II. Really? How much do you want for it? Nothing. <laughs> it is not for sale. It is a piece of history. I don't know, Mr. B. It depends on what you sell. Catcher. But you're a businessman. You must be willing to part with it for something. Uh, I will trade you one piece of history for another. You give me a battle of Mouton Fouette in 1968, and I give you Mouton the decoder. Deal. What's Mouton Fouette? Mouton Fouette 1968 is a very rare beverage that is usually stored on the <laughs> ground. Unfortunately, finding an intact bottle has become next to impossible. But if you want the decoder, the impossible is what you must do. So, get me a bottle of Mouton Fouette 1968. I will accept nothing less. In the meantime, what else tickles the fancy? I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Now, we're going to go back to the catacomb. Yeah. And I open up this. I don't know. I 
does when you dance and it comes like that. <laughs> This Perfect. place is crawling with four-legged vermin. Okay. Uh. okay, so we found the beverage. Translation would be okay, we're cheating on this because near the we're not dealing with bridge, it. What's that? Snow White well, you have to go back and look at the castle. metro lines. Yeah, that makes uh, a lot of sense. Corey or somebody, can you tell me what the answer is to this? I can look it up if I need to. But... I bet if somebody really is in sales, they can convince me their job is worth more. No, it does not. Okay, we have to pull it up. Um, away from the cake recipe. Okay, three, seven, two, four. It's hard to justify just going back and doing this again because I have no idea. I know what how this is, to solve it. But after everything just I went annoying through to get here, because you can't I'm look at the map it. here. You have to go back to the. <clears throat> Yeah, I was thinking it meant snow because it was snow white. <gasps> okay. I guess we have to go back through this way. Well, 
Is that like a flannel shirt? We We haven't had the police come after us. That's good. Because the uh, there's police in the Still tunnels need, that you have that's to hide from. Check. Been, been there, done. That. Been, that's finished. That's, that's finished. That's finished. Can't check that off yet. Oops. Haven't done that. Still need to do that. Can't still can't check that off yet. I need a pick stapler. We're getting I feel like we're we're fairly close to the end here. Oh no one's gonna yell at me to get it. Well, I hope you're happy. Heather? You told Minette about that letter and she fired me. So that's it. I'm history. Gone. Kaput. Got the big boot. All thanks to you, you think. I didn't, I didn't mean, mean for you to get, get fired. fired. Yeah, well, what's done is done. And for your information, I was going to have you be one of the models in Minette's upcoming show. That's right. You were going to be a runway model in a Paris <laughs> fashion show. But now, on the off chance that Minette has much an sass. upcoming show, it's extremely doubtful that whoever books the models will consider, even for a second, hiring some corn pone little blabbermouth from Podunkville, USA. So looks like you blew it, Nancy. For both of us. Anyway, let's look at, make a picture of the stapler. I remember, is that the last picture I need? Okay. So, we need one, two. I need six pictures. One. Two, three. Missing one. I'm trying to remember which one of these it is. This is the spider. This is cross. One of these in handle. We didn't take it. Yeah, we did. Oh, the one by the, the, the catacombs. Yeah. Okay, stapler, spider, handle, cross, oh, so it's the last one. Teapot! Okay, that's what we still need. We need the teapot. That one. Thankfully, it's here. I'm gonna take the drink back to the guy so we Yeah. Still oops, haven't done still need to do that. Still oops, haven't done that. There's a lot of so, Let's go ask uh let's go ask about the picture. Of the dials, and we'll go to the park, and then we'll go to Dieter. So we're working a row here. Mademoiselle Dru, what is it now? The picture of Minette that was in the June issue of Glam Glam was it cropped? Do you remember? Mm, I'm sure it was. Most photographs are these days. Why? Do you think I could see the uncropped picture? 
As it happens, all the pictures which I use in my articles are stored right here in my uh, digital assistant. Can I, do a puzzle? I will help you, mademoiselle. We have to but make only her if face. you help me first. You see, the owner of this cafe, he faces a crease. The person who makes desserts for him has stepped out for his customary two and a half hour break. Unfortunately, <laughs> a bus full of American teenagers has pulled up and, and all are clamoring for parfait. So, I will tell the oh. owner that you will make the parfait. I was saying before, I don't know why it was a, just a thing until like allow me to continue pretty far along in the games and I will that be indebted to you any games that took place overseas, the there wasn't picture. more than like see how it one works? main character who was actually from the country that you're in. Like in this game, he's the only French guy. Because Minette and Heather are American, and Dieter is German, and she, DJ Australian. is Australian. So he's the only French character, apart from the like secondary characters that you don't really see or anything. I get to make parfaits. And like oh, Castle right. Malloy. Okay. Looks like I've got uh, chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, is the only strawberry ice cream, main character caramel is ice Irish. cream, bananas, tapioca Tyler's balls, berries, and whipped cream. The first American one I have to Irish make descent. is Nixwa. Matt is English. Kyler or Kit is American. Like everybody's, <laughs> everybody's not Irish, and uh, I don't know why <laughs> it's just a thing in a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. I hate the sound effects in this puzzle. It's really crap. Awful. Can you hear it? Well, that's he good. Liked it. Now that one's me. Don't fit. <laughs> It sounds like you ain't too happy with me. It does. Oh, oh, like next up, oh, I didn't get that one right. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's all upsetting. Well, this yeah. is like there's bananas that are strangely well. Okay. Fine there, but in here they look really wet. Okay. And, it, <laughs> and then these are tapioca balls. Uh -huh. Why are they in like ectoplasm? What is that? Oh no. Okay. Some Banana, kind of tapioca, cherry oh, okay. pie filling, or whatever the heck that is. Strawberry. Yes, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> now they want a long fair. Oh, there's yeah. cherries on top. That's what I missed. C'est bien. He liked it. Next is a corbeau. Mm -hmm. I did it right. One mistake. Exactly. Coming That's up. why I feel sorry. This would be such a fun puzzle if it wasn't like the terrible sound of it. It's just. It's just... These people better hope they're not around when their food's being made because it's gonna Here sound so up. unappetizing. <laughs> if it wasn't so particular about where you click, that would also help. You know what these things look like to me? Yeah. They look like uh, like Cadbury, little chocolate Cadbury oh, eggs or something, but slimy. <laughs> yes, they do. Parfait. Now I have to make an egg swap. It. Now and I the winner is Lula. <laughs> uh, I just made one. Why do I have to make another one? I guess at least Merci. it means I remember how I to did do it. it. Right. There, 
All done. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. oh, my gosh. <laughs> did a good job. And so, as was our agreement, here is the picture you wish to see. Great. Thank you. So, nine, five, three. So, what else do you wish from me? It was a pleasure talking to you. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Why does that make me think of the Cinderella story? Like, she's not just hot, she's like, la hot. La hot, that's right. <laughs> like, what does that even mean? Bonjour, mademoiselle returns. And she returns with a bottle of Mouton Forte, 1968. Oh la la, you did it. <laughs> so, I take this and give you the Carter can do this take voice it. perfectly. You have yeah, French. It. Thanks. Yeah, but what he's not like a main character. A so the, the people in the park are the only other French characters. Um, What's French this book book about? That is a very <laughs> good book about codes which are commonly used. Around. It is a mere 15 euro. How about 8 euros? Grandu. What else tickles the fancy? Oh. I really don't want to buy anything <laughs> yeah, right just, now. Yeah, we're very passing well. on the tickle good. there, buddy. Oh, wow, and now. Au revoir. <laughs> Some of that we are going to need later, though. <laughs> gotta go back. We're going to Dieter's. Because no, we gotta go back and get more stuff from yeah, the some creeper. Yeah, at one point. Did you take all of those photos for me? I sure did. They're all right there in your camera. So, you had some questions for me? What do you know about Noisette Tournade? The French resistance fighter? I seem to recall reading that she died recently, and that's about it. Why do you ask? I know three things, Mr. Von Schwesterkronk. One, Noisette Tornade, whose obituary you were carrying until it fell out of your pocket in the park. Noisette used to own the old windmill Manette now owns. Two, during World War II, she was rumored to have hidden several valuable works of art from the Germans somewhere in Paris. And three, she was romantically involved with a German soldier named Hans. Hans Von Schwesterkronk. Oh, yes. I know all those things, too. Hans was my great uncle. But there are one or two things you don't know, Fräulein. You could not have known that just before he passed away, my great uncle gave me that. What is it? Something Noisette gave to him. Turn it over and look on the back. Unfortunately, my great uncle couldn't remember what any of it meant. She used to be the director of public works, so I went to her favorite park to see if anything there might help me figure out what that card means. But I discovered nothing. You can keep that if you want. I can? Yes, I give up. I don't care anymore. Finding that lost artwork is why you started going out with Minette, isn't it? Since Minette owns the Moulin, where Noisette spent most of her Princess life, I saw the new <laughs> You can't tell me otherwise. What that card meant. <laughs> oh but my gosh. Something totally <laughs> unexpected and tragic happened. I fell in love with her. Minette is one of the cleverest, most infuriating, yet fascinating women I have so ever met. So, Mr. Beat, if you're listening, is there any chance you can switch over to he because my toes are... So she knows nothing about the connection between Noisette and your great-uncle? I told her nothing. I thought that if I found that missing artwork, I would be a hero and Minette would change her mind about me. But I can barely keep my mind on my works these days, let alone on finding some mystical treasure. If you want to look for it, go right ahead. Right now, the only thing I'm interested in recovering is Minette. Pray, Papa. Can't check that off yet. Been there, done that. Oops, can't check that off yet. Oops, haven't done that. Check. That's finished. Been there, done that. Can't check that off yet. Check. Can't check that off yet. Check. That's finished. Thank you.
So we have to do something with red leather. I think it's all, Silver red, it's all of four, one, the red five, left four. ones and all the green ones. So, let's talk about the, the Cross of Lorraine, which is that thing. I'll bet those numbers are movable. I hear it. I'll bet those numbers are movable. Along with a handful of other detectives, about to board a train bound for who knows. What? Oh, Squirrel must have jumped on the handle and moved the windmill. Bonjour. What intrigues, Mademoiselle, this time? Well, let's yeah, see. The sound effects, everything. Is this pie tin very expensive? Very cheap. Fifteen euro. I'd rather pay you eight euros. Vendu. What else tickles the fancy? <laughs> I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. <laughs> Insane wall. <laughs> Bonjour, oh my gosh. Welcome back. What do you like? I need to make a, make a steak. reel with that. That is made of the fine <laughs> too bad we don't have the rifle from the dress <laughs> 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 Take out the squirrel. For that reason, I sell for 13 euros. I'll give you 10 euros. Voila. What else do you like? Is this just regular string? That is very good string. Very strong. Very good to have around. You can buy for only 6 euros. Would you take 5 euros for it? Voila. What else do you like? Guess I'm just not in a buying mood. When you want to look again, just come back. I will. Au revoir. Au revoir. I'm going to need a flashlight. 
back up. I guess we could have already gotten it. No, we're getting the other stand. Flashlight. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What you need, I am sure to have. Well, I could use a flashlight. Mine was in my lost luggage. That is only 10 euro. Batteries included. Would you take 8 euros for it? It is yours. What else appeals to you? Actually, I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. Now you're about to see the most useless sequence of anything ever in a video game. <laughs> Time to get out my flashlight. Now we just have to sit and watch an endless cutscene. We can grab one thing and come right back. Huh? No. <laughs> no, but it kind of feels that way. It's way longer than it needs to be. Now that song is stuck in my head, Tori. It's so cute, it goes on forever. A key. Now we have to go back through that again. <laughs> all over again. I think she walked for a thousand miles in the tunnels. I learned how to play a part of that song on the piano growing up. Not a lot of it, not very well, but I did. I loved that song as a kid. I don't know why Nancy's drifting so much, like coming around the corners and just like swaying off to the side a bunch. That's pretty cool, Maggie. What we have left. We have to do the We are absolutely cheating on this puzzle because it is horrendous. Oh, I don't know what to hear. Well, I can mute it for a second while you. Uh... It's just me, Nancy. We're all fine. Um. Uh oh. Okay. What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> Everything's fine. You just stay in there and keep working. Oh my gosh. That was startling. She opens the door. I've got to figure out how to disarm this thing before she Your opens volume's the door. Still good. What are you doing out there? Nothing. Just stay in there. Everything's fine. I love this song. The song is great. The puzzle? Disgusting. Where? I'm done. I won't bother you easy, anymore. That's why me cheating. I better get rid because of you have to figure out and really freaks. things are like connected by the shape or by the color or by and you're trying to make it so everything's connected in some way mm. all these pathways so it's for a timed puzzle yeah it's kind of frustrating okay let me bring bring the chat back up okay so that's finished oops haven't done that check been there been there done that that's that's finished. Been there, done that. 
That's finished. You can't check. Still need to do that. Check. Still need to do that. You got a lot done. Like we're getting. Been there, here. done that. Been there, done that. Yeah, like we're. Uh, we're gonna need to write this. Probably I'll just but you probably know this, but the ones with the slash through are zeros. I know. Yeah. Three lines at the bottom. We're gonna set the dials on the machine and type that in. Coded. Enigma machine? Well, that's because that's what it is. Alright. Now we're going to set the dials machine here to... The dials on this thing move! That's why we're touching them. Um, moving it to what they were on the wall. Looks like I should type a message using my own keyboard. <laughs> using my own keyboard. Okay. Either way, I can hear you, so if you want to read it out, that's fine. X, T, S, M, U, U, L. Wait, we've already done something wrong. That's an L. I think it. Yeah, it's an I. Okay. I, zero is the only number. Well, no, that's a seven. There's a three. Okay, so no. I think that's a that's an I. Okay. No, it's all good. All right, ready? X. Okay. One. Wait, that was. X T L or X T I. Oh, like French to me. Now, I wonder if the symbols on these discs have something to do with the dials hey. on the M380 <laughs> decoder that Noisette Tornade used. Just to be. Just to be. Oh. 
okay, now it's mad. I just had to just get angry. I'll bet I'm supposed to put these colors in a certain order. Rouge. Cheating. Locked, of course. <laughs> There's a puzzle that's like three or four, three or four stage decoding puzzle that is would be hard to do even with knowing what you're doing. So that's so what Moisset stole during the war: stained glass. Those in the chat, what stained glass piece is your favorite? I'm just If you are reading this, it means no, that Nancy I am really dead does. and that you have discovered my secret. Yes, the rumors were correct. With the help of Hans von Schwesterkrank, I took the stained glass you see in front of you and hid it. Not for personal gain, but so these exquisite pieces of art would not be lost to the dangers of war. I was not a traitor, nor was Hans. He helped me because he knew it was the right thing to do. But why, you are asking, why, when the war ended, did I not return them? Why did I not even admit taking them? At first, it was because I was angry. After all that I had done for my country, when my friendship with Hans was discovered, people turned against me and accused me of terrible things. I wanted to hurt the people of Paris the way they were hurting me, so I said nothing about the stained glass. Then, when at long last I was deemed innocent, my anger subsided, but fear took its place. I was afraid that if I reveal what I had done, the accusations would start up again, and people would once again call me a criminal and question my motives and assail my character, and it would have been too much to bear. Hans had gone back to Germany, and despite his promises to the contrary, I knew I would never see him again. Like everyone else, I just wanted to get on with what was left of my life, so again I said nothing. And gradually time passed, and Paris healed, and I healed, yet the right time for telling the world my secret never seemed to come. And now I am director of public works, a job I hold not only because I love this city, but because I wanted to make sure that someone, you, would be able to eventually find what I hid. Please make sure these pieces make a safe return to the world above. When you see them as they were meant to be seen, with sunlight streaming through their panes, interrupting the darkness with color and meaning and joy, only then will you truly understand why I did what I did a lifetime ago. N-T. X-I-V-I-I-I. -I -I. Hello, Casey. Glad to see you back right in time for the end. So that tells you what to set the deep to now, and then there's a whole. Uh oh, the door locked behind me, and nobody knows I'm down here. Not good. So it's one final enigma. Um, and so you're like supposed to supposed to do something with that with. Like Cipher, and then you put that in the decoder with the thing. I don't have the patience for that. I just, I just really don't. Um. End game. Yes, yes. Answer. Final code two one five seven. All right, figure out Anakin's. Well. 
the dress work? It does indeed. Yeah, yeah! What about when I whispered? And when I turned my back? Could you hear what I said then? Gonza, I could hear everything. Ferguson? With this dress, we will be able to hear every word that is spoken within 10 meters of the First Lady. And what we hear, what we sell, will make us the wealthiest five on the planet. Such a wild <laughs> ending. Hey! Hey! I made you the dress, so how about paying me? After the First Lady takes possession, that is our deal. Look, I put up with the dead <laughs> flowers, Accents. the letters, the paint, the idiotic phone calls. I put up with all your stupid threats for months. I deserve to get paid now. Those weren't threats. Those were incentives meant to keep you on track. And they obviously work. You'll get your money when she gets the dress. Let's go, Gunther. But they're picking it up for her tomorrow. What difference does it make whether you pay me now or 24 hours from now? Oh my gosh! It sounds like Manette made that dress for the First Lady to be some kind of bugging device. I've got to get it out of here and take it to the police. Where oh, no. did you come from? Oh no! You've been oh no! Here, eavesdropping. You heard everything, didn't you? Not everything, but enough to know that thanks to you, those two guys intend to use this dress to bug the world what summit. A bugging device for I roaches. knew there was something sneaky about you the minute you walked into my office. I should have tossed you out on the spot and told Amy Grunhill to stuff it. Well, newsflash, sister. <laughs> I am about to knock your nosy <laughs> little drama. off. Hey, yeah. I'm I hate her outfit, Nancy, everything about And I about don't it. mean for sushi. That's like you've been <laughs> Oh. We have to try to block her attacks. Oh no, I'm doing too. Oh no! Oh, we're we're gonna lose. <laughs> okay, that one was good. Well, you see, I didn't buy the book that tells you how to do this. Finally, the middle. <laughs> Wish we had the <laughs> rifle. Oh man, it was. <laughs> Ouch! You look pretty hurt. Isa, isa ho. Eat go. Oh, so you think you can block me, eh? Where did you learn to block like that? Your goose is cooked. Issa, Issa. Just give me more of the ones I know. Shazza! I'm getting kind of tired, I think. If something we can throw. Supposed to be itchy dough, that's what it's called. There's a book on it in the park, but we didn't buy that book. Look at that. You've got a twin, and I used to think twins were so cute. No, we're not doing as bad as it looks like. Okay, we're not doing great, but. Imaginary elves that were stronger than you. That's one of my favorite quotes. <laughs> he he, she's dropping. She's dropping. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. You can't block oh, my I got power that one right. force punches forever. <laughs> Might as well power give up, force Manette. punches. Ah, I guess that one right. Run a roll. Oh, we got it. it. We got it. See, yeah. I told you we had it. <laughs> punch, yet you beat me. Life is so unfair. <laughs> sure. So <laughs> off with her. Horribly unrude.
You know that packing material that's like the shiny foam stuff that's really thin? That's what it looks like her cape's made of in that scene. Where am I? Uh... See, doesn't it look like that stuff? But also, we get to see why she's been wearing a mask. Oh my gosh. She has a little alien and tattoo on her face. The real reason why Minette wore <laughs> that mask. A tattoo, which she later admitted she had gotten on the spur of the moment, and which she instantly One of the dumbest reveals ever. The You're not wrong. She, ever done in her life. <laughs> she also admitted that the reason she had fallen so far behind schedule was because Ernst and Gunther Schmeck, former members of the East German secret police, were paying her a small fortune to create a dress for the first lady out of fabric they supplied. This fabric was infused with microscopic circuitry that would allow them to eavesdrop on the world summit. All three have been arrested, which means Minette will probably be designing her next collection from a jail cell. And she doesn't care for stripes. As for the beautiful pieces of stained glass that Noisette Tornad hid away years ago, they have been returned to the churches they came from. And Noisette is finally getting the respect and gratitude she was denied after the war. Not that she was perfect, but it seems to me her biggest fault wasn't doing too little for her beloved city of Paris, but trying to do too much. As for Heather, after Manette was arrested, Amy Grunhild asked her to try to salvage the spring show. So she finished Manette's designs, came up with a few of her own, got everything made, lined up the models, and put on a show that Jean-Michel is still raving about. Unfortunately, I wasn't invited. Yeah, I agree, Lou. I feel like I liked this game pretty well when I was younger, but it's not held up with age because the plot is just an absolute mess. But uh, it's the first game with two different things. Um, possibly. Let's click and see. Puzzles in the least amount of time because we cheated on some of them. <laughs> time to dig out the tank top, stuck up on sunscreen, and slip on those sandals because for my next adventure, I'm off to Hawaii to the big island of the exact. It's kind of I'll be helping out this quirky entomologist. That's a bug scientist, by the way. It's just me. But she was perfect. So yeah. We didn't do the, we didn't do the game perfect. My perfect. working vacation <laughs> quickly turns into a series of disturbing discoveries. Including one that involves that we did. <laughs> we got through it in two weeks. Which game is this one? This is the one that came out after, right after this one. So come with um, me to this island paradise and help So this me is the Creature of Copper Cave, the one that's in Hawaii. Creature of Copper Cave. Until then, I don't recall it. It's a fun one. It's a very uh, divisive one in the community. I feel like people have a lot of different opinions about this game. Um, it's got problems. It has some <laughs> problems, but but I actually like it pretty well. Um, I would probably rank it higher than a lot. But um, I rank this game lower than a number of people. So this is true. The trailer makes Kapu Cave seem more exciting than the other. Wrong. Kapu Cave where you find frass. Yes, it is. Um, both literally at the Kapu Cave location in the game, but also just in the game in general. Um, and it is another game with a weird plot twist. The ending is a little weird in that game. Um, it's the worst game when it came out, but not now. <laughs> See, if we're talking about Kapu Cave, I would put it above... I would say it's better than this game. And personally, personally, I would kind of say it might be better might be better than Secret of the Clock. Maybe not. Maybe not quite that far. But I'm not a huge fan of Secret of the Clock. Um, the game. That game is wild. <laughs> that was probably, <laughs> that's probably the first game that was like really trippy in a lot of ways. But, um, yeah, yeah. Clock is worse for me. Close second. Yeah, yeah that's fair. They're both wacky games. What's your plan going forward? Should what game might I do next? Mm -hmm. Ah. I hadn't decided. Um, I might want to do Labyrinth of Love. But that's a game that I've been really wanting to play and I haven't played yet. That one, I could play Shatter Medallion, really shake things up. <laughs> um, we'll see. I'll probably put out a poll or something like that. 
side. I will say, I like the music in this game a lot. I do like the music. But, yeah, the plot's a bit of a mess. <laughs> yeah, so when I played... This is probably part of why Clock feels like a fever dream to me, because I played it for the first time with Mr. B, and I fell asleep partway through it, and he was still playing, and I just woke up to him about to rage quit while driving around <laughs> delivering telegrams, <laughs> because you have to constantly stop and get gas. And there's this jingle, he says, like, welcome to Zippy's Gas, where we go zippity, zip, zippy, whatever, and, <laughs> and Jake's like, if I have to hear that one more time, I am going to go insane. <laughs> he was over it. But I would, like, drift off to sleep and then wake up, and then it would be, like, these weird chaotic zoom-ins on characters' faces, and so it's like, part of it just felt like a fever dream, because I was literally, like, half asleep for part of it, and I'm like, this is wild. And it wasn't less chaotic when I watched I played it without being half asleep, <laughs> so that wasn't that's the okay. That it. wasn't the problem. Um, so Liz says last trip, great relief in this, this time, time period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I when I first played Train, I did not like it that much, honestly. But I like it a lot now. Um, I, I like Phantom of Venice a lot, honestly. Yes, ice um, is all. Yeah, I like Cry a lot for the like the vibes, but it's it's got some plot holes and different things that I notice more as I've gotten older and played it more. Um, but just overall, like the whole stretch there with Ice, Cry, Ben, Aw, Man, even like I liked all those games. They felt very like focused on the location and immersing you in the location, and I like that a lot, so... So I like that. So when is the new one going to be? Question. <laughs> um, it's been confirmed that it's coming out this year. Yeah. But that's what we that's what we got. There's different theories. Um, so... We're gonna see. I'm expecting some stuff to happen in April, because that's the one year anniversary of when all this marketing mm -hmm. thing started. Um, but it's also, once again, the month that is the like, Nancy Drew birthday is in this kind of stuff. So I'm expecting something to happen, big stuff to happen next month. Um, see, yeah, we'll see. What's um, it gonna be? What, Mystery of the Seven Keys? Yeah, you Mystery just, of the Seven Keys. You refer to it. And yeah, so key is I... the abbreviation for it. So it's Mystery. Um, Oh, they developed using a C++. You're so sorry. <laughs> Maybe that was part of the problem. Ben was Nancy's fever dream. It never happened. I mean, it could be. Yeah, that would be nice, yeah, Casey. Yeah, I agree with that, Casey. Um, I mean, it's a long time to do this sort of thing. Yeah. 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 Um, I just... <laughs>
in the community that have been in it for more than years. Mm -hmm. um, like we, when we would watch walkthrough videos, like we watched his videos. So it's wild to think about just how long he's been playing because, oh gosh, like, oh I watched his videos when I was was much probably easily ten plus years ago, which is wild. Um, so we're gonna find out some stuff next month. It's the first name. He's the first one pretty much anyone knows. So like like I said, most people who've been in the queue um have watched his stuff. Mm -hmm. And even people newer in the community this. So anyway. Um Yeah, so mm -hmm. So wrap glad up all and, of you are on here. Yeah, we're friends. gonna need to wrap up and get off because we gotta we gotta go eat soup and cake and all that because it's um yeah. But uh Yes, and, and Mr. So. B said for my birthday and uh <laughs> <laughs> may not it may not everyone exactly. show up and <laughs> cause a bunch of chaos and uh Mr. Up a bunch of time. Mr. Mr. B did let me see if he could Why is it not okay, it's picking up. It wasn't picking up some of what you were saying. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, we need to tweak some of the settings some more, but um, well, I think we were talking quieter. Tonight's my last night on the job. After this. Yeah, it should With be easier, because I'll have the microphone, like, close to me. This has been fun, though. Thanks so much, peeps, for letting me be on here and tolerating tolerating me and it's just been great fun it's Enjoyed been it. a lot of fun it was fun to sit down and just like play through an entire game with you because we've i don't know we've really never ever done it never done that like we played parts of mm -hmm. them together and you've helped me with puzzles in them but we've never just sat down and played an entire game together. Um, so what were what were your thoughts though before we get off on on the game well i mean i really obviously some it. of the conversation stuff we didn't get all of that so like we could spend a lot more time going through every single dialogue thing and all that yes now i i really i have not seen a game from start to finish first time I really love to be able to do that because i would or just kind of project thing. If i just would have bits and pieces and not have the whole thing so to be able to see a game from start to finish is something i've never done before so I really enjoyed that. I always love doing much anything too crazy or whatever, or too scary. <laughs> then I'm just happy. And I have um, enjoyed doing something new. I don't do a lot of things new. I've gotten older, so I'm very happy that something that's very foreign to me. And you guys have been so welcoming on the chat to me and to Papa. I appreciate you letting folks crash your party. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, it's been wonderful. Yeah, Thank it's been you. a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> hopefully we can do some more stuff like this at some point. And I want to play um, some stuff. Like, I kind of wonder about playing Stay Tuned for Danger the first time with him because I've never played that game. It's like the only game I haven't played. And know nothing about um so we'll see that'll be interesting but uh well he's good he'll be an asset yeah <laughs> not, not yeah, a liability he's pretty, he's pretty good um <laughs> thanks for tuning in white rebel i will pass on your message uh appreciate you being here um thanks for everyone that's uh been welcoming to mama beat and everyone for being here and great time and uh a good time was had by all, right? I think so. So <laughs> I will uh, let you guys know what's going to be um, going to be next Sunday. I end of this week, like Friday stream, because it's Good Friday. Like I'm probably going to do different with that. So I'll figure out going to change that. Um, no, and tomorrow night I should be streaming 
Twitch at 6 p.m. Eastern. And you guys know what we're playing Nancy Drew Wise next Monday, but. Mm -hmm. uh, and on Wednesday. Yes, on Wednesday night. Eight o'clock. Sleuthy, Southern Sleuth. She's coming back with her, her first stream in a very long time. And uh, everyone go support her and follow her yep. if you haven't. And tune in for that at 8 p.m. Eastern time on YouTube. Um, a reminder. And uh, see you guys next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.